While many videos already exist on YouTube regarding The Sims Online, very few have focused on explaining the primary purpose and goals of this online multiplayer game, which still exists online today. As someone who has just recently immersed himself into The Sims Online community, I have decided to provide a brief overview of the game's history, and demonstrate to you in depth the goals and purpose of this game. So let's dive right in, and welcome to my channel, Nostalgic Games. The Sims Online, also known as EA Land, was the first attempt of launching the popular Sims franchise as an online multiplayer style game. Released originally in 2002 and later rebranded as EA Land in 2007, in its heyday, this game once served hundreds of thousands of players online, all from one server. Despite attracting an occult following of players, the game officially shut down in 2008 and was considered at its time to be one of EA's biggest failures. However, in 2017, an unofficial fan-made relaunch of The Sims Online, known today as Free SO, debuted worldwide across the web. The vast majority of the original game had made its way back into this installment, as well as some of the game's most beloved fans. In today's video walkthrough, I will go over crucial components of gameplay and share with you some of the fun, wacky, and unexpected things that you can expect from an online game that's still stuck in the early 2000s. We're going to go ahead and dive right into the game, but before we do that, you will have your free SO launcher. Hopefully you will have installed everything correctly because it's crucial to do that. Just follow all the instructions on their website. There's a lot of YouTube videos, how to even do it as well. I didn't want to take a lot of time to go over installation. It's pretty straightforward in my opinion. Once you've installed everything though, you can always use the launcher to play the game and we'll click play in a minute and that will boot up the entire game. There is one thing that I want to mention here and that is the 3D mode. It's normally disabled by default. I enable it because I think it's really cool. The Sims 1 and The Sims Online were two-dimensional games, but the developers at FreeSO have created a 3D mode version, which has really kind of updated the game's original graphics. And I personally like it. I know a lot of people don't, but we're going to have it enabled and we can always turn it off later in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my login credentials. And we're going to be taken here to a menu where we have an option of selecting which sim we want to play off of. Now, I have only created one sim and you are only able to play with one sim at a time. The Sims Online is not a family simulation game. You can only play with one sim at once, but you have an ability to have three total that you can rotate from. I have only created one. I've been only playing the game for about a week now, um, and I have Bradley Green here. When you do first create a sim, it will ask you what world you want them to live in. When The Sims Online first launched, there were a ton of worlds that you could choose from. Now that the game is no longer in existence, the developers at Free SO only really had the choice of keeping Sunrise Crater in the game. So unfortunately, that is the only option that you have. And since there aren't a lot of players anymore for The Sims Online, it really does make sense that they'd only have one option. Bradley here does live in Sunrise Crater, and we're going to go ahead and play off of him for this game. So I want to point out the map. It's a little overwhelming, to be honest. There are so many different districts and neighborhoods, but what should be your friend is this little property toggle over here. You can click on these different icons and sort by certain lot types. Now, let me just try to explain to the best of my ability the goal of The Sims Online. The goal of The Sims Online is to build skills, get a job, and to make money so you eventually can own your own property or co-own property and even have your own business. 
The game is very entrepreneurial in a way, and quite different than the original Sims 1 gameplay. So when you get started with the game, essentially you are a newbie, and you will have the ability to access some special lots. So if you click on the welcome category, for me it's not showing up, but it is basically a big lot where you can go and there are actual players in the game in real time that will chat with you and give you information about the game, about skills. And if I'm not mistaken, the first seven days after your account activation, you can gain skills, I think like twice as fast, if not three times as fast. Don't quote me, but I do know that there's a benefit there for newbies. So my sim had absolutely no money starting off. I am literally still a vagabond, but there's a lot of lots that you can kind of live at. And that's what I've been getting away with for the longest time. So Bradley here is employed. He's a go-go dancer, but there are other lots available called money lots that are owned by certain players of the game where they will let you come to their lot and create things and in exchange you are given money. But a lot of what you make in the game money-wise is solely dependent on your skills. So the first thing you really, really need to do in the game is just to build up skills. So we're gonna do just that. We're gonna go to a skill lot. So if we toggle over here and click most popular places with skills category, we will see the skill lots that we can go to. And there are only two right now. The ones that are online will pop up. We have Wonderland Skill Chalet. There are currently 15 people there in real time, which is exciting. And we have Camp Cassandra. There's only one. So we're gonna go to Wonderland Skill Chalet and I'll give you guys a little tour and show you how we can build our skills with other players online in real time. So here we are, first and foremost, there's no pausing and there's no fast forwarding in The Sims Online because everything is in real time. I mean, it's in real time in the sense that everyone here is literally on the internet right now at the time of this recording, but the sim time is different. It's currently 3.09 a.m. in the morning. Now this is a huge, huge lot. And if we just come here and zoom out and try to digest all of it, it's kind of like a big mansion where you can just come and use different facilities to learn certain skills, which is really, really cool. If we click back in live mode here, all of these people that are showing up here in the UI of the game are people who are currently at this lot right now. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you the lot zoomed out. It's absolutely incredible. And what's really, really cool about The Sims Online is you can have like six story buildings in the Sims game. You can only have two stories. So that's something that's a little bit different. And I also have the game set in 3D mode right now. But if we come into our options and go to graphic options, I can switch to hybrid 2D, which is a little bit more similar to that classic Sims 1 style that we all know and love so much. Now, there's not a lot of activity going on right now, but basically what we want to do is we want to see where like everyone is. And here they are. We have uh, visitor Rachel, visitor Chelsea, visitor Eh. You can give yourself weird names. Um, and the chat bot is here right now. No one's really chatting at all in real time. They're probably all focused on their skills for their Sims. But I'm going to start up a chat and just say, hey, all, what skills are you working on? And if we come to me, my little chat bot appears above my head, which I think is really cool. And hopefully one of these guys here will respond back and let me know. And then I can go in. Okay, so uh, Whack Prince says cooking. I'm gonna say thank you. And now if we come in and we start learning cooking, what's gonna happen is if you learn skills in a group, the speed goes up a lot faster. So if you're learning a skill by yourself and you're just sitting there, you're gonna learn it in a pretty slow amount of time. But the game promotes unity. So if you can get people to build skills with you, they will go at a faster rate. Someone else said that they're working on charisma right now. Charisma is learned with a mirror, which is over here. We have two here. Uh, Ella and Cindy. I probably shouldn't be saying their names because these are real people that are playing online, but uh, I'm kind of tempted to because it's The Sims. Now, it is generally owned by a player. So this person is, uh, 
Ariki, and she is a roommate of the facility. So she actually lives here. And some of these roommates will do really nice things for you, like cook for you, so your Sims can get their needs up. And some of them even treat this as a hostel or as a lodge where you can even come and sleep and spend the night. So my Sim, Bradley, currently is a little bit of a vagabond. Like he doesn't have a place of his own to live at because I don't want to start spending money. So I kind of have him use these facilities as his places to stay. Between this skill lot and the money lot, we don't really worry about living anywhere right now. And in all honesty, it's more fun to be on these lots because that's where all the people are when they're generally playing online. So I don't know if you caught it, but one of the dudes just literally randomly vanished. That means that they went offline. I actually had something really funny happen the other day off camera. I did record it and I'll throw it in the video, but Bradley actually died when he was exploring in the catacombs and one of the lot owners was able to come and revive him and bring him back to life because they had such high skills and were so well known among the community. So Chelsea says a boost in this case is helping the skill speed to go faster by skilling same object. So Chelsea is studying mechanical, I'm studying cooking, so we're actually not helping each other out. So I am going to start studying mechanical, and then that way we can help each other out. She's very close to her 15th point. I put, ha ha, sis, I am way behind you. <laughs> Let's see what she says. She says you will go faster at the lower levels. Oh, okay. So the lower the level is, the faster you learn the skill and the higher your levels are, the longer it takes you to advance them. That's actually really interesting to know. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge lover of The Sims, but I never played The Sims online. I was a little too young to have a game like this where you're chatting in real time with people. Um, but so far, the community that I have interacted with has been really nice. And I have had a lot of really fun conversations with a lot of these players. So I was playing in hybrid mode, but if we toggle back to 3D, I think it's really cool because look here now. Everything is in third dimension and it's Sims 1 graphics, but I think they're done so well to where I actually honestly kind of enjoy it in this 3D perspective. Now, some of the objects don't look great in 3D. They look rather broken, like this couch has a little bit of tearing issue. It's to be expected. This game was never made to be a 3D game, but I think it's pretty amazing that the developers were able to do this. And we have the infamous go-go <laughs> dancer sets where you can build up your body skill. Bradley has definitely been doing a lot of that because he's actually a go-go dancer. That is his job job. And it's currently 6.07 a.m. in the morning and his job starts at 7 p.m. We'll definitely check that out later when it's closer to time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stop studying. I'm sorry, Chelsea, but we need to take a break. So you're on your own. All right, yeah, here's the bathroom. Look how like fancy they did this up. There's like a fireplace and all these showers. Oh yeah, and full disclosure, I don't know if it just has to do with this being a uh, you know different game now, but the sensors are not on in this game. That normal pixelated mosaic that we're used to seeing is not showing, um, but it gets really funny when they go in the shower because you will see his ass. <laughs> so Sims can have jobs and they do actually go to their jobs in the Sims Online, but a lot of people complain when the game was released that the jobs weren't really well paying. So a lot of people kind of became their own entrepreneurs and made lots where they will pay you to go work on their lot. And that's what we're gonna do later. All right, we're gonna go ahead and come and have something to eat. And this over here is one of the roommates and she's singing to these Sims as they eat. And for whatever reason, I don't know if it's her skill set or her power, it helps all of the needs to go up really fast. So I wanna show you guys that. Anyone want to open their skill house? I've had a hell of a day. Oh, so she's ready to go. <laughs> Like she's literally online and she's like tired and wants to go go home. I mean, yeah, keep in mind, these are people that are playing in real time. So like this Ariki is literally walking around and queuing up actions like on her computer as we're talking, which I think is pretty cool and kind of crazy at the same time. So yeah, it seems like she wants everyone to leave and I'm ready to leave. We can sleep and do some fun activities at the money lot. So we'll just do that. 
We're gonna go over here to the phone booth because it's 2002 and cell phones don't really exist. I mean, they do, but no one has one. And we're gonna click leave lots. Oh, she's so nice. She's singing to us. You're a doll. Thank you. Yeah, see, all my needs are going up. Thanks to her. I don't know what kind of like interaction that is. I thought it was so weird when I first started playing the game and now I'm like, sing to me, please. Whenever you want. <laughs> We're gonna call up a cab and go somewhere else and look, I'm disappearing out of this lot. All right, so there are a lot of different types of lots we can visit, but again, the most popular are money lots and skill lots, money lots. We have Bliss Reimagined, which is the most popular one, and Hard Cash Correctional, which only has five people. We're gonna go to Bliss Reimagined. I was hoping there'd be more people, but 16 is still a decent amount of people to interact with. And the money lots, in my opinion, are the most fun because they're kind of treated like real workplaces. You'll see. Welcome, Bradley. Hi, all. Thank you. All right. So let's just zoom out really quick and appreciate everything in its glory. It's a pretty awesome lot. It's been my favorite so far. And if we put the roof on, someone did like this really cool mosaic with the peace sign. But if you go one floor down, you can actually see the real building, which looks like this. Uh-oh, we have some people that are uh, cussing over there. This might be an adult rated group, which is actually kind of fun for this gameplay. So it looks like the uh, skill of the day is typing. So... How this works is there's different rooms with different skill objects. Yesterday it was chemistry, today it's typing. Every day of the week it's a different focus. And what you need to do is you need to come in here and work here. So this says write. Now unfortunately, I do not think that Bradley has any writing skill. It might not be writing, it might be creativity that he needs. Um, but how this works is you can still make money, but the higher your skills are, the more you'll be paid. So, so far we have 3,246 simoleons. I'd say about 95% of that we have earned at this money lot. The rest we've earned from our actual job. We're just gonna get to work and start cranking out uh, what we can and we'll see how much we get paid. I'm pretty sure though you need creativity for typing. Do you need, what skill do you need for typing? I'm curious to know. Creative. All right, I don't think we have any creative skill. This is so cool. It's like an actual real call center from like the 90s and you have these phones make sales pitches. That's not the activity for today. Today is typing, um, but it is just so cool to see this. Miss Fortune, she's a well-known uh, simmer on the Sims Online community. She has helped me quite a few times with questions I've had. My poor grandmother loud is trying to sleep and I'm typing in the room next door. Is she like being funny or is she like actually meaning that? My poor grandmother trying to sleep and I'm loudly typing in the next room, but she wouldn't be typing. Her sim is. I don't know. Some of these people, I'm like really confused if they like think that they're actually like in real reality in the sims. I'm not going to lie. I will have to find the footage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I swear I'm gonna have to find it or I could start a conversation now, but so many people on The Sims Online that were playing in real time with me were shading The Sims 4 so hard. Let me just ask anyone, like I wanna ask people in here, does anyone here play any of the other Sims games? Question mark. I used to play one and three, Sims Medieval is iconic, actually might re-download it. Oh cool, we're done, sell story. Okay, it's probably not gonna be worth much money because his skill is very low in creativity. 117 simoleons, not bad. See, that's what's really cool. It's like everyone here in this room wasn't really talking and then I asked questions about all the Sims games and like everyone has commented. Like that's how iconic these games are to all these people who are literally right now as we are doing this video playing The Sims with me in real time, which is just so cool. I want Bradley to do a little bit of entertainment. He's a go-go dancer, so we're gonna do something really funny. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna have Bradley change into Vegas clothing, change into Vegas outfit. <laughs> 
I'm living vicariously through Bradley. He's a go-go dancer. I've always wanted to be one. Not really. I've definitely thought about it. Like, you know, they make good tips. Okay, these are the options we have, and we're gonna go with the craziest one here. There you go, work it, Bradley. <laughs> here for laughs and cheap entertainment. He's gonna do a belly dance. <laughs> Bradley, go dance for Theo and Dan. Oh, there are people over here. They're probably like two straight guys that are like, what the hell? These people are funny. Oh, she's gonna start dancing too. Work it, girl. <laughs> I'd kiss you if I didn't have on this helmet. You'd be barking up the wrong tree. L-O-L. Oh my god, she decided to fight. She's giving him cookies. She's giving the stripper cookies. <laughs> I do like that there is a chat history. So whenever you come to the lot from that moment on, you can scroll back and see the chat history if you missed anything. This is all good stuff. All right, so it's 1.32 p.m. now. And once we get to the evening, we'll actually go to our real job. Again, a money lot is not a real job. I mean, it can be if you want it to be, but this is just a lot that someone owns and they're letting you get paid for interacting with objects that produce content, such as a typewriter, which makes stories, a chalkboard, which produces mathematic equations, and a chemistry set, which produces potions or elixirs. So any object in The Sims 1 that produces a result you can actually interact with to produce that result and then sell it for money in The Sims Online, which is actually a really cool concept. There is build and buy mode, but since I obviously don't own this property here, I can't interact with anything in those uh, sections of the game. I love that this guy is in a dress and a clown mask. I mean, you do you. And if we zoom out, like, keep in mind at one point in time, like, you know, in the early 2000s when this game first came out, thousands and thousands of people, if not a few million, were playing this every night at home. So I can't even imagine how many lots there were at one point in time. Everything you see now was from 2017 onward, so it's different, but... And these, a lot of them, seem to be just lots that people actually own and live in. And I can't even imagine how many hours of work had to have gone into that to live in a place like that. I keep clicking on this guy because I think it's Bradley. They have the same head. That was a fun problem in The Sims because you only had like 20 to choose from. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of like just sitting and typing. <laughs> I want to see if there's like anything else we can check out. It's not a skill lot or a money lot. So let's go back into the neighborhood view and go into city view. There's a lot of blurbs and like even lore that you can read about these neighborhoods that I haven't yet. I just haven't gotten that into the game. Um, I mean, I've been playing it for hours, even just right now, but... Oh, we have services. Lilith Love Corporation. What's this? I don't know what this is. Let's check it out. Sounds sketchy as hell. I really have no idea what this lot is. Is this like someone's house? I think you can marry Sims in this game. You can't have kids. Children don't exist in The Sims Online. But someone did tell me through the chat the other day that you can get married, but that person is obviously the other Sim, so they have to be online at the same time. You can't, like, play off of them. Let me ask her, what kind of lot is this? Service lot. All right, she says, you eat pee shower and I give serenades. Oh, okay. I would think she'd get really bored doing this all day. It is really cool that like they set this up to where you can just kind of travel and live off of other people's places. Like the community it builds is, is really fun. All right, so it's seven o'clock, a little after actually, and Bradley's carpool is at seven. So we better hurry up and call up a cab would you like to get a cab? Yes. All right. So we got to go to work. Cab is here outside. 
All right, Bradley is at work. We actually have someone else here online who is a DJ and the job position that I have is a go-go dancer. So we're gonna go ahead and get on the platform here and start dancing. And these are all the little moves that I can do. I can do side bop. I can do wave. <laughs> it is crazy seeing all of these iconic Sims 1 faces in 3D up close. Some of them are really scary looking. This is so fun. This is pretty much the extent as to how the actual job works on The Sims Online. Probably back in the day when more people played, you'd actually have people online playing and not just a bunch of NPCs. It's still fun, but the shift goes all the way till 4 a.m. and it's currently only 8 p.m. I definitely am not gonna stay on that long to play it. And he doesn't make that much money. Every hour he gets paid about like 60 simoleons, which is nothing. I prefer the money lots. They're a lot more fun because you can actually talk with people in real time. There's one other money lot we could go check out really quick. It's called Hard Cash Correctional. I'm just gonna ditch work and go there. I think that'd be a lot more fun. This is another money lot and this one is done up like a jail. How funny, look at the stacked bunk beds and the jail cells everywhere. This is crazy. Put on a jumpsuit and get to work inmate. Oh my gosh, so they want us to wear a jumpsuit as we work? How funny. All right, he's now in the jailbird outfit, so he's allowed to come in and work. I, I think it's really hilarious that this person has a theme to their money lot. And this is where we ended up at the end of the night, in a jail cell writing novels. <laughs> That's The Sims for you. You never know what's going to happen. I have to say, I've been pretty impressed by The Sims Online. I've only been playing it for about a week now, but... I really wanted to make a video for quite some time on this because it's something that not many people know about. This has been a lot of fun. If you're someone who really loved The Sims 1 and you miss it and you aren't able to play it anymore, I highly recommend downloading Free SO. It will put The Sims Online on your computer for free. This is a really great opportunity and I really hope a lot more people catch on to this. It's pretty amazing to me that a group of developers were able to get together and basically resurrect The Sims Online. I definitely see myself doing more gameplay videos in the near future with The Sims Online. I've just had so much fun. If you want to hang out with me on there, please do. I'm Bradley Green. That is my Sim. You won't miss him. He's a go-go dancer with a red baseball hat. So uh, if you play, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to meet you sometime. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor by liking it and subscribe to my channel for more gameplay videos. I really try hard to push two videos a week. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.